What's up everybody? This is Jackhammer2711 coming at you with yet another video review and today we are going to be taking a look at the Masters of the Universe Classics Tongue Lasher. Um, this was the November 2014 Club Eternia subscription figure um, and he was also available um, for sale on MattyCollector.com uh, on the regular sale date. Um, he did come in the standard Masters of the Universe Classics uh, mailer box. We're all familiar with those look at like guys. Uh, nothing really special about that. Um, he did come packaged in the uh, Masters of the Universe Classics standard blister card packaging here. Uh, just taking a look at that. Of course, you've we've all seen this before. You've got your Masters of the Universe Classics logo here at the top. Uh, your figure name here at the bottom, Tongue Lasher, Evil Snake Man Creature with the Venomous Tongue. Um, and then, of course, you got your Snake Man faction sticker right there on the front. Uh, it's just your standard Masters Universe Classics packaging with the green brick, uh, yellow background with the lightning bolts on the sides. Um, taking a look at the back of the packaging. Oh, look, there's Tongue Lasher. Uh, it's got your Masters Universe Classics logo at the top. Uh, some pi figures, pi figures pictured. Uh, who were also previously available. Um, you've got King Hiss, Snake Face, of course Tongue Lasher, the figure we've got here in hand, Cobra Khan, Ratlore, and Battle Armor He-Man. Uh, taking a look here at Tongue Lasher's bio. Um, his real name is Kasher. Ooh, that's a lot of S's in that name. I guess if your name has a lot of S's in it, you automatically qualify to become a Snake Man. But uh, if you want to read that bio, go ahead and pause the video and read it. Uh, of course, down here at the bottom, MattyCollector.com, where collectors are king and collect them all. Uh, bottom of the packaging, just that standard Masters of the Universe Classics packaging with that Mattel Lego Momo Jumbo. Uh, anyway, so there's his packaging. Uh, taking a look now at Tongue Lasher, the figure himself. Uh, what we'll do first is uh, we'll take a look at his accessories. Uh, so we'll move him out of the way there. Um, first thing we'll take a look at here. Um, is his snake staff. It's it's the same snake staff that comes with all of the snake men. So I mean, if you've seen this once, you you you're you're familiar with this. If you've ever gotten a snake man figure, you know exactly what you're getting right here. Uh, but it's it's still really nice. You know, you got that diamond back pattern on the back of the snake that's wrapped around this uh, staff with the ball on the top and that standard pommel there on the bottom. Uh, so if you've seen a snake staff, you've seen this before. Uh, not even any two-tone paint on this paint on this one that I can tell. It's it's all one color except for kind of maybe this is a little bit more metallic than the rest. But uh, it's purple. Yay. Anyway, there's his snake staff. Uh, next thing we'll take a look at. This is a little bit more interesting accessory. It's his dragonfly bow. Of course, as you can remember, the dragonfly bow with the original. Uh, I think it came with a, a handle at the bottom. Uh, this one doesn't really come with a handle. It has a clip that you can clip on his wrist, so he actually will be able to hold this really, really well. But taking a look at the sculpting detail on it, it's this really nice turquoise. It's like a turquoise metallic paint. Uh, and you can see there, it's got the arrow sculpted on the top of it right there. And it looks like a dragonfly. It's, it's, it's good. It looks good. You know, some really nice sculpting detail there on the wings of this thing. Uh, especially here on the top, you can see that nice sculpting detail here. Uh, gives it a an organic yet at the same time mechanic look mechanical look it's, it's just really really nice it's a nice accessory it, it, it clips nicely to the figures on forearm it's just really really good it's a it's a well done accessory and uh, it's it's you know it matches up it's it's what he had as as an original toy it's it's tongue lashers dragonfly bow um, so great job there on that accessory uh, the most interesting and cool accessory that he comes with is this extra head. Of course, if you remember Tongue Lasher originally, um, in the original Masters of the Universe Classics toy line, uh, Tongue Lasher uh, came with this big dial on his back, and whenever you would turn that dial, this, this kind of plastic, papery tongue would flick in and out of his mouth. Well, you know, we don't have um, action features, per se, with most of the figures in this line, so... Um, a lot of times they give extra accessories to kind of pay homage to those action features, and this is no different. 
Uh, it's really, really nice. You can see there the, the, the head sculpt of the face. He's got these nicely painted yellow eyes with that black slit in it. Uh, which, of course, he's got the, t the crest on the top of his head going across the top here. Done really, really nicely. You can see all the teeth here along the side are, are painted quite well. Um, he's, he's got that pink and purple paint job, you know, taking a look at the back at it back of it. He's got, and he's got these nice little bumps. It's, it's, it's nicely textured with these little bumps everywhere. Uh, and of course he does tongue lasher. He's, his tongue is lashing. It's out there. Um, and if you're wondering what these two little doodads are, uh, I could have done without this, to be honest with you. Uh, I get why they did it though. On the 2000X Staction figure, Tongue Lasher's tongue had these two teeth coming out of it right there um and it's neat i really like whenever they give nods to 2000 and x uh in this line because i was a big fan of that action figure line and and of the stactions as well it's just this just kind of seems done haphazardly to me right here uh if i'm being honest with you um you, you can see there it, it just looks like his teeth has ulcers or, or rather, his tongue has ulcers. They don't. They don't really look like teeth. You know, I understand there's safety standards they have to adhere to, but I mean, they could have. They could have looked a little bit more like teeth, in my opinion. Uh, but like I said, it's. It doesn't take away from the sculpt so much. It's just a, a personal preference. I would have rather them not include that just because of the execution but it's a nice touch it's not bad it doesn't ruin the figure by any means and absolutely this is the more interesting display option for tongue lasher um if you look at the tongue you can see it's very nicely textured it's got a forked in right here very nicely textured it goes from like this dark green color um and then it gradient shifts down to a lighter green and then eventually to this yellow um it's done quite well the sculpting on the tongue is really really nice it actually looks like a tongue, unlike that old plastic cellophane thing that used to pop out of Tongue Lasher's mouth, uh, you know, on the original toy. But And it's so cool. Just take a look at the sculpting again on the top of the nose. Uh, and you'll see here, uh, just bringing the figure in just for a quick comparison, uh, the top of the head. You can see, like, his mouth is kind of curled and pursed. The snout is, is kind of sculpted differently to give that 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 effect of him snarling and, and really opening his mouth to to whip that tongue out there so it's really cool a really nice accessory it's uh, anytime any of these figures come with an extra head it's always great for me and this is no exception because this is really really nice by far the more interesting display option this is actually what i had on the figure after i took him out of the packaging uh, and i just popped it off for the the review because uh, I, I just th this is this is how he comes in the packaging and uh, it's it's always I think it's always better to review the figure as it comes in the packaging uh, at least that's just my personal opinion and preference but uh, taking a look here at Tongue Lasher <laughs> he's an interesting snake man you see he's got the snake man logo here on his chest I can't remember on the original figure I don't know if he had that or not I can't remember. I don't think he did. If he did, I'm sure somebody will correct me in the comments. Uh, and actually, feel free to correct me in the comments if I got that wrong. But, uh... Interesting because... Look. <laughs> I don't know of any snakes with this color pattern. I don't know of any snakes with fingers that look like this. I don't know of any snakes that have ever had feet reminiscent of this shape, or feet period, so I can't really say much as far as that goes, but uh, Tongue Lasher always to me struck me as more of a frog than a, a, a snake. Um, I mean, he's technically a frog, not even a reptile, frog's an amphibian. Uh, so you don't even have that going for you. Uh, they're both cold-blooded, I think, so there's a common ground there but uh that doesn't change the fact that tongue lasher is a really cool figure um he was always one of the more visually interesting snake men to me along with Ratlore. uh and this figure is no different uh the colors on this thing just absolutely pop he's got this bright 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 orange 
chest and abdomen right here. And I mean, it really just pops against this pink and purple um, skin tone that he has. And the figure just looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, just taking a look at the head sculpt there. He's the eyes on mine. I heard there were some complaints with some of the eyes. The eyes on mine are painted nicely. He's got nice yellow eyes with the black slits in it, uh, both sides there. Um, the teeth coming out of the side of his mouth, you know, you've got the, the teeth jutting down and up and, and, and down again. Um, he looks like a frog. I'm sorry, he doesn't look like a snake, but hey, whatever. You know, it's, it's, it's toys. Uh, again, just like on that other uh, alternate head, some really nice texturing. You can see those bumps on the top of his head right there. Just some really nice texturing on the figure um, that follows from right here and down onto his back he's got these nice little bumps sculpted on his back there to give him some texture really really nice figure really really well done by the four horsemen as usual uh, and almost a whole new figure um, as far as shared parts with uh, with other figures in the line um, of course the shoulders are shared the top biceps are shared but uh, other than that, now you, you probably got the legs. You, the legs are, 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 are going to be shared. But entirely new torso. Uh, this piece is new. This piece is, is, is new, I'm going to say. Uh, nah, maybe not. Maybe not this bottom piece. This, this might be shared as well. But the top part of the torso is definitely new. He's got new bottom uh, forearms and everything right here. This is new pieces. The feet uh, are definitely new. They're unique. But uh, it's just a really nice figure. Um, you can see this sculpting detail, these folds around his neck right here. They just look really, really nice. Um, it, it, he's just a great action figure. Um, of course, he does have his Horde armband because, of course, you know, Tongue Lashor is one of those characters that was originally conceived um, as a member of the Horde. But he he's also holds allegiance to the Snake Man. It's confusing. I get it, but whatever. Uh, the gloves are really, really nice. I don't know if you're going to be able to pick this up. Let me see if I can shine a light more directly on it. I don't know if you see, there's almost a, there's like a brown wash on these gloves that I didn't notice before. You can see it kind of right there. It's it, it just makes them look dirty and dingy. And it's really, a, it's such a nice touch. Then of course he's got these, these three fingered hands that are very reminiscent of frog's hands. You know, they kind of are in that shape. That way he can, he can hold his staff. You can jam his staff up in there and make him hold it. But he's got that standard Masters of the Universe Classics loincloth uh, coming down here to the legs. He's got the the uh, the unbooted calves down here. And then the feet uh, are really, really unique. They're kind of a, a four-toed foot um, with these black toenails. And uh, that's the only small complaint I have about the figure. Um, let me just go ahead and adjust my... My camera a little bit here. I apologize if it's jerky in any way. Uh, as his feet down here, you can sort of get him flat-footed, but not really. Uh, he does have an ankle rocker, but it's that Masters of the Universe ankle rocker, so it may not. It's almost like not even having an ankle rocker, really. But as you can see there, flat-footed. He just he rocks a little bit. It's 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 going. To, it can be done. You know, you'll have to maybe overlap his toes or something like that. It can be done. You can get probably get him in a flat footed pose, but it's not going to affect the stability of the figure. It's just a minor nitpick that you know. Whenever you have a figure that's got these feet like this, that are just such a dramatic departure from the rest, you know, go ahead and spend just a little bit of that tooling budget and 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 give us some true ankle rockers. That way we can truly get him flat footed on the ground. Uh, but it doesn't. The, the feet are shaped as such that, despite that fact, it's not going to affect the stability of the figure at all whatsoever. He still stands quite nicely um, with no problems at all, keeping him standing, uh, you know, right there. Uh, but he's it's just a really nice figure. Another really great figure from Mattel. Um, that is a nice update to a, a, a classic vintage figure. With some nice touches to modernize it a little bit. Like I said, I don't think the original figure had that snake logo there, but this one does. I really like it. I know the figure did have that horde armband on it, and it's included here, but of course that armband is removable. You probably could get that off if you worked really, really hard at getting it off. 
Uh, it's it's just a nice figure. It's really really great. Um, the head does come off. Uh, see if I can pop this off on camera here. Pops off just like that. Take the uh, the the other head and just like all the other. Man, this thing's it's it's a really tight uh, joint on this one. I, I may have to do this off camera. Let me do it off camera. There we go. Man, did you hear that? I mean, that thing snaps on there like gangbusters. And, and there you have Tongue Lasher. Like I said, this is just a much more interesting display option, in my opinion, with that tongue flicking out like that. Um, but he's a really nice figure. Little bit of a bobblehead on the alternate head that I've noticed here. Little bit, but I mean, you can still, it, it'll still hold its position, but it does kind of bobble a little bit. Um, going over the articulation, the head does go all the way around. And then as I showed you there, it will go up and down a bit, but kind of a bobblehead. But that's 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 the range of movement you're giving. He'll look that far down, he'll look that far up. The arms do go all the way around there. They go up by that far, back in. He does have a bicep swivel, of course, all the way around there. A uh, single point elbow goes up about that high and back down. He does have a rotation here at the hand. Nice ab crunch. Really good ab crunch. Works really well. Not that far forward, that far back. Does rotate here at the waist. Legs go out. Woo! Look at that boy do the splits. Back in. Get him good seated pose. He's got that softer loincloth. Legs go about that far forward. And about. Yeah, about that far back before it starts to hit the loincloth here. Uh, it does rotate here at the thigh. It's got a single point knee. It's really, really nice, tight ankle joints. Man, these things are tight. I'm not actually straining that hard to move them. It's just <laughs> dramatic effect. I don't want to break them. <laughs> but they move pretty well. And... Yeah, you could say he's got an ankle pivot, but that's it's not much. Um, but overall, he's just he's really really nice. Uh, I've I've really liked having him. Uh, I've enjoyed just kind of playing around with him a little bit. You know, the staff fits nicely in his hand. You just kind of put it in his hand like that. You hold his staff. And of course, you know, Tongue Lasher's nothing without his Dragonfly bow. So there you have Tongue Lasher, guys. Um, a really nice figure overall. Of course, you got his alternate, his, his un-Tongue Lashering head there. Really nice figure. I highly recommend you get him. Uh, he was available originally on MattyCollector.com in the month of November. Uh, I haven't seen him back on the site since. But uh, if there's any customer service stock, I'm sure we'll see it again eventually in uh, early access or maybe even in some of the Cyber Monday sales uh, that come along in the month of November, December. So uh, as always, guys, uh, comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, we're chugging forward, trying to catch up on some uh, reviews that I've been wanting to get done. Um, I've got some really exciting reviews coming up, some stuff that I'm really excited to take a look at. Uh, and maybe even, I, I might even try to review a, a couple new items that I'm getting that's kind of a new passion that I have. I'm not really going to say too much about it right now because uh, I, I'm not really a surprise, but... Uh, it's just, it's some really cool stuff that I've, I'm, I'm kind of getting into. So, uh, anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. This has been Jackhammer2711, and as always, I will catch you on the flip side.